All right, guys, uh, this is Itty, and I'm here to help you with installing the way for DCS. That's what this guy is. I'm going to show you where to find it uh, and what you need to do to possibly troubleshoot what is going on with it. So first things first, let's go ahead and jump over to Google, type in DCS the way, just like that. And you should have this first thing pop up right here, which is on GitHub. You'll just click on that link and it'll take you into this page. So once you've got into this page, it's going to give you a whole bunch of instructions. And I know some, some of you guys have a little problem with finding the actual file you need. But essentially what you need is go over to where it says latest on the on the right in green. Just click on that. It'll take you to the next page. And then you'll scroll down and then you can just click on the zip file. And that will just automatically should start downloading into your folder. Now, once you've done that, go to your you can right click and just go to show in folder. And then it'll just pretty much show you there. Now you can extract this right here um, into your um, uh, anywhere you want it. But I'm just for for time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and right click. If you don't have WinRAR, I highly suggest just Google WinRAR, install that, and then come back to doing all this stuff. It just makes these things so much easier. Now you could just double click on this file, and you'll be able to see the files within there. But I will advise you that sometimes there's glitches in doing that. So I would just go ahead and extract it and then it will actually create the actual folder that you're going to need now so when you double click on that you'll see the way and then inside there you're going to see resources you're going to see a whole bunch of different things you don't need any of this stuff the only thing that you actually need are these two things the application and the little file so those are the two things that you're going to want to grab um, so once we have that we're going to go ahead and just shut down the background of this and i'm going to show you where you need to actually put those files so i made a a quick link into um my scripts folder because I actually put a lot of different things like Raygun for the uh, Buddy Fox and uh, the a couple of other different things. So you're going to have in your, let me show you how where this is. This is under your users, okay? Uh, you know, you, the save games folder is always going to be under your users. So you would just go to your PC, go to your C drive, go to your users folder, go to your name, and then from there, you're just going to go to save games. If you're under DCS, go to DCS. If you're in open beta, go to open beta. And then from there, you're just going to go down to the bottom where it says scripts. Double click on that. And that is where you're going to basically take whatever the uh, files were. Uh, and again, uh, let's just open up this real quick so I can just go into my downloads. And then I'll go into the way. And then those are the two files, these two guys on the bottom. You don't need anything else. So you would just grab those, drag and drop them into there, and just put them in there. Now, the trick is um, you will maybe run into a problem with the, let's see, JavaScript. Uh, when I try to install it, um, I have Windows 10 running. I've got everything updated, but the Java that it's going to install is going to require a different version. So when I tried to install it the first time, uh, I'll just double click on it so you can see it. And you'll see this guy hopefully pop up. If this guy does not pop up, what you're going to do is you're going to get an error and it's going to say Java runtime 11 needs to be installed. OK, now the problem is, is you're not going to easily find Java runtime 11. That's this guy. OK, um, so if you basically install this right here, it's the 11.0.17 Windows 64 bit. Um, so just let's see if we can actually just copy and paste this. I'll put this in the video if this works. But let's go to Google. And just see if I can actually paste this in there. And see if I can find that. All right, so this would be. I'm going to go ahead and copy this information down and put it in this video. So you are going to need the legacy version, which is this guy. So you would just find it as the installer. So you could just click on this. Um, so if we did this, I'm going to just go ahead and copy this link because I'm a nice guy. I'm going to put it in a text folder. Let's see, new. Text document, and I'm just going to post it right here. All right, so I'll put that in the. That's the information that you're going to need to get this particular file. 
Um, so, you know, you're getting it from Oracle. I cannot guarantee that you, ha I had to sign in. I had to create an account, which I thought was stupid, but I'm going to go ahead and just copy this link now that I have it, open up a new tab just to make sure it works for you guys. Paste it in there. See if it takes you right to where you need. Ah, look at that. Such a nice guy. All right. So you come down here and just make sure you get, I would say this second one from the bottom, that should be good to go. And then you will probably not have any more errors uh, with installing this, but you will have that annoying. Uh, it took me three hours to figure it out because I had to install Java, I had to backtrack, figure that out. And again, the newest version is not an archive version. So you have to force the the runtime. So it's a it's kind of a homemade free app. It's an amazing app. Um, the next part of the video will show you how to actually use it in DCS and use it well. Um, but again, these are going to be things that you're going to run into. So hopefully you don't really have to do anything more than that. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and post all these links in there so it makes it as easy as possible. But just remember, you do not need anything else other than one thing. So this right here is the export. That's going to be in the scripts folder. And again, your save, save open beta scripts, you're going to see an export. Okay. And in there, whatever you've done with other things, like for example, you see where I've got uh, Raygun, that's a specific script that has to be run there. This is the one right here that has to be in this particular export. So I'll copy that one, put it over here as well. So I can put it in the video description. Ooh. That went away. I didn't save it. But anyways, that one's that. And then the Java stuff I'll go back to and I'll do that in a second. But this right here, you simply just copy and paste it. If you go to their website, uh, you can do this as well. Uh, if you go to where the original GitHub stuff is. So it'll give you the, um, if you scroll down a bit. No, sorry. That's not the instructions. Let me go back to the first page. There we go. So the first initial page. Like when you're searching for this on GitHub, you'll end up with this page. You'll scroll down and it'll tell you which aircraft it'll work with. But this is this is the easiest way. So when you click, if you just go here, you don't actually have to do anything. You just click on this and it says file copied. So you don't really have to do very much. You don't have to go to the YouTube link or whatever. But if it's already there, it's already there. But uh, they did not give you much more. This is the video, I guess, of the creator that did this. I don't know who this is, but um, either way, very nice that they did this, but it doesn't really show you very much in detail how to really get targets with it. Uh, so I have a very detailed video on how to see how to do that and the trick to using it, um, what to take, and all the advantages that it will support. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and um, hope to see you guys up in the skies.